Even now, at this late hour, I urge him, get around the table and do your job. Yeah! Secretary of State. Ma'am, Madam Deputy Speaker. Order, order, order. No. Secretary of State. Madam Deputy Speaker, that was a lot of words to avoid using the three words, I condemn the, the false words. Yeah! I condemn the strikes. I condemn the strikes. Uh, I, I, I remind the House, Madam Deputy Speaker, there's four words, uh, and you can practice them. Uh, she can practice them if she likes, Madam Deputy Speaker. I condemn the strikes, will she? Uh, I remind the House, the, the Honourable Lady uh, opposite is herself a former union official. She will, she, will know better, she will know better than most, therefore, that negotiations are always held between the employers and the unions. Well, this is just a desperate attempt, desperate attempt, to deflect from the fact that the Labour Party, who themselves, let it be put on the record, have received a quarter of a million pounds from the RMT union between them and their CLPs, and, and, and that's nothing. A hundred million pounds from unions over the last ten years are here today, as ever, failing to condemn strikes. Strikes which will hurt ordinary people. Strikes which will hurt kids trying to do their GCSEs and their A-levels. Strikes which will hurt people trying to get hospital appointments which have been delayed during COVID. And strikes which will even see veterans miss armed forces celebrations uh, this week. There is no excuse for the Honourable Lady and her front bench team sitting on the fence. I can almost feel her pain as she resists this saying the four words, I condemn the strikes. Chairman of the Select Committee. Order, order! Chairman of the Select Committee, Hugh Merriman.